We move next here tonight to our main story, and it centers around climate change. Scientists tell us that Florida is ground zero, but our wild spaces in the Sunshine State could be the key to protecting us and the state. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska catches up with experts who are teaming up to prove that Florida's wildlife corridor can help offset the worst impacts of a warming planet. The Florida Wildlife Corridor is absolutely beautiful. It's massive. Right now, they've protected 10 million acres. We're with scientists who just released a first of its kind study to talk about why this corridor is so important to protect Floridians from climate change. The Florida Wildlife Corridor is an 18 million acre landscape, a connected, intact landscape all the way from the Panhandle down to the Keys. The sounds of nature echo through Archibald Biological Station. At more than 20,000 acres, it is a small yet critical piece of the entire Florida Wildlife Corridor. On our tour with scientists, we saw animals around every corner. Alligators, deer, majestic sandhill cranes, and thousands upon thousands of butterflies. And it's a mosaic. It's a mosaic of different types of land covers. You have ranches, you have pristine uh, natural areas. A bulk of the corridor is inland, but coastal mangroves and marshes make up 4% of it, protecting Floridians from storm surge, beach erosion, wind, and more. This report has uh, really helped to be able to articulate what the corridor does and doesn't do for climate resiliency. Meredith Budd is the director of strategic initiatives with the Live Wildly Foundation, the nonprofit that funded the study. In September of 2022, record level rainfall from Hurricane Ian flooded parts of central Florida. We watched as communities were cut off from the world, supply drops by boat lasting for weeks. As bad as it was, the green infrastructure of the corridor captured and spread out those floodwaters. Two thirds of all of our floodplains are located within the Florida Wildlife Corridor. And so by protecting the corridor, we're not necessarily making it better for flood protection. We are keeping it so that we don't get worse. Is there a land rush per se to beat out developers. I would not necessarily use the word rush. Joshua Daskin with Archibald was a project manager for the study. He tells me 10 million acres for the corridor have conservation easements. 8 million are now opportunity areas that are still up for grabs. Like cattle ranches. Right now there's a waiting list for hundreds of landowners to get paid by the state for those easements. Prioritizing where we spend the available resources is tricky. Do you spend on the really big, really biodiverse areas that might be far from development? Or do you go for maybe the higher priced areas closer to cities and make sure you get those connections? You said you're a biologist, you're not a climate scientist. Correct. But, but everybody has to be a climate scientist these days, right? Yeah. You know, the world's changing. Jay Baldwin is a professor of biology at Florida Atlantic University and a lead author of the study. He tells me the report is the first of its kind to make the connection to prove how much we need nature to protect us from ourselves. We're going to see probably more flooding. We're going to see more fires. We're going to definitely see more heat. We're going to get these storm events. And so how can we do things smarter? going into the future. At Archibald Biological Station with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.